Okay, we're getting into the game. We've gone pretty far. Like, I feel like this part of these chapters, 13 and 14, are a bit of a lull for me. They just kind of go a bit, eh, 12, 13, 14. It's just forest. Uh, lots of forest. It's got some nice environments, but it does feel a bit like, oh, here again. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like... Are you going? <laughs> like, this may be like the oh, yeah. weirdest Mandela effect ever. Your father will recover. But I don't remember it being her in the vanilla version of the His game. condition remains grave. Like... I see. Master Ryu, please, take this. I just remember some chick that the looked like a fairy. And I don't remember her having this color scheme and it being an established character. And I was just like, Ayane, stand back. <laughs> stand back. I'm going to do the cool thing. Yeah. <laughs> the true dragon sword. Oh my god. That was an awful line read. So ham. Yeah, this might be the Mandela effect, but I remember it being a different person that hands him that, like, but, like, this was my first ever step into this universe, so I was a little, like, oh, a random fairy girl that hasn't been in the game, and I don't know the name of, <laughs> lol, <laughs> when he runs up the wall directly on those little pagodas. Bits. He's like, dur, 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 dur. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> ah, um, yeah, I remember it being someone else, not Ayane, Ayumi. Yeah, geez. But like, honestly, like a lot of this, if this is your first game and you don't know anything about like Ninja Theory's characters and you don't play Dead or Alive or anything, you're just like. Oh yeah, these guys are like hyped up versions of like the dogs you were fighting before, so if the originals were pissing you off, these guys can like just blow you up. Farm. So you know, if you were finding the original dogs annoying, this is like annoying dog number 2.0. They're not too bad for me to fight, just a bit irritating. He just Blanca bored me or Kino bored me. What the fuck? Plus stab. Gooby plus. Outdated memory. Yeah. So you see here, it's like you know an asset kind of reuse in some places you can go all the way down here and it's blocked off and you can't go up like this pathway is obviously from like chapter two or some shit chapter three chapter two oh you know the one where you fight genshin for the first time and uh yeah you the pathway you originally take is sealed off but, like, on the side missions, they also do this, where, like, uh, Mamiji's is a Asset Reeves 2, and all of the others. It's a pretty good idea, I guess, because, you know, data and whatnot. Here's the doggos. They're common. Damn it, every time. I'm mashing like crazy here. I don't think it's a mashable escape one, or I'm doing it wrong. Yeah, because this is supposed to be dramatic, it's obviously a lot less colorful, it's overcast, everything is gray, and as a result, I know it's going for a high drama thing, but like, uh, it makes it kind of an unmemorable level where you just feel like, geez, this is just a lot of me walking forwards. Hey, it's these dudes. It's the, the Mamiji guys. 
some Amiki guys. Beaker. It's Beaker. Fuck. <laughs> I will not lose to you, Muppets. Fuck. Well, I've done a lot of damage to him. God, you guys are just punks. Ah, you ran away like a chicken. I see you like that move, sir. That club is positive on block. Maybe it is. Fuck! What are you, the zongie F of Muppets? <laughs> Anywho, moving on with that weird side note <laughs> that I don't remember being in the base game. But like, my memory is hazy as fuck for this game. So this is where you get the Luna stuff, but this time you obviously already have it, you just go down here and there's fucking nothing, but uh, it's fine. Ooh, broke the game because it expected me to tip the stairs there. Ooh. Okay, so we, there's nothing here. A lot of wasted space and asset use. There might be a box around here. Nope. Oh, Keely Dokali, Neighborino. Hey, it's this space again. Uh, I think I remember the last time I came through here, the beginning of this LP, that you fight some dudes and a box appears. This time you fight some dudes and the door opens. Much excite. Ah, oh, you guys are annoying. <laughs> go away. There. You might notice that I go for the counter throw a lot, where they do the kick combo. The basic human ninja will go kick, 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 kick. And then I just block, 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 because they can't guard break with that kick, and then I just instantly go into the guillotine throw, because it fucking works. <laughs> like, <laughs> and you know, not many people, not it's not a commonly used thing, I don't think. Uh, it probably is, I'm not like a ninja guide master. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just doing, you know, it's not like I'm speedrunning. Oh! So we saw you beat one spider dude. Now there are two spider dudes. So this is what I'm talking about. This mission feels ridiculously long because you fight a duo of sub-bosses, you go down a series of corridors, and then you fight another duo of bosses that aren't hard, but just, you know, these don't even have bars, but like... And I, I don't mean that they can't... they, they can't rap. <laughs> Who got bars? <laughs> this guy got bars. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, just... If you're gonna show off and flex, don't have, like, enough health that I can execute you, bish. Crying like a bish. Haha! <laughs> Take that, box open iframe. It's all part of the tactic. So yeah, like, this mission is a very long mission. With you basically, you just, it's not bad for gameplay, but it's like, very boring if you're not interested in fighting. Because it's just run, fight, run, fight, go down corridor, fight, fight, boss, fight, 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 fight. So, well, you know, it's Ninja Guide, that's basically all it does anyway, but like, Oh, uh, hey, the castle of the dragon, I don't fucking care. Fun fact that the, the I learned recently, Dracula means son of the dragon, which immediately makes Dracula like a thousand times cooler than he was to start with. And he was already pretty cool. <clears throat> Did you guys know Alucard is Dracula backwards? <laughs> So they got this whole mini town here, there used to be shit here that for you to backtrack to to pick shit up I'm pretty sure at one point. And now it's just like, oh, unused village assets that are weirdly well rendered. Look at this cute little house on the hill, look at these training stone dummy things. 
can't interact with any of it because they don't want people to get bored of the no stabby time. This game, man. I feel like the audience was like, I don't care about this shit, where's the stabby? Give me the stabby, so they just got rid of all of the uh, elements that just involve going back and forth, which actually was probably a good play. Yeah. <laughs> I just enemy stepped in. Fuck. Calm down, flicky sword guy, that's my shtick. I own that. See? Are you dead? Good. So I gotta go that way. Oh, and I can't go that way, so... Oh, there's no hidden path. Gotta clean the swords. Gotta clean them. Oh, I have to swim. I've forgotten how to dive there. We there you go. <laughs> and that's about as much swimming as I can handle. Ah. Yeah, so there's a section here where you just run through lots and lots of bamboo and tall grass. Like you're in Pokemon. And wild ninjas attack. For like a long time, <laughs> like so. Yeah, this this is a quite long thing. Damn. Stabbed. Good. He dead. Are you dead? Murdered. Moving on. Ah, fuck. Cheapest of shots. Go around a corner and in Oh, you bitch! <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> yeah, I missed. Now I will clean the sword of you filthy casuals. <laughs> Moving on through more bamboo. Fun fact about bamboo, it grows so quickly that you can hear it growing and it sounds like a shrieking sound, which is why people think demons live in bamboo forests in Japanese folklore. Just throw that guy out of the way. I just murdered this guy. Now he's out of the way. Oh, he just went up. <laughs> he was just like... <laughs> into the air. I don't think he's supposed to go that high normally. You all dead? My swords tell me that you are dead. I like bamboo, man, but like... You know, there's such a thing as like too much of the same... Like, I got lost there because I flipped myself around while I was fighting, and it's just like, is it the root with the bamboo, or the root with the bamboo? <laughs> so, yeah, you know, this is what I mean about this. After the Heart of Darkness and Temple of Sacrifice levels, you get a bit like, we get it, jungle. Yes, they're different trees, but like, in this form of rendering, it just looks like green polygons, you know what I'm saying? Fuck. You're not doing it. You see that guy? He was about to do exactly the same thing as his friend did. Try and do the sacrifice moves. Ow. I kind of phased past him for that attack and it left my back open. It's dead. The rock has been taught a lesson too. Okay, now, now there's cave. Grey cave. Grey cave. Big grey cave. Grey cliff. Stick? Profit? So we got a choice, you can either go in that cave, or you can go up the steps. There's a box here. Like, at this point in the game, I'm at the point where I'm like, I don't need to open every fucking box, I'm bored, so like... Very often I'm like, oh, okay, so I could have fallen down the well here and gotten back this way, but basically you just have to go up here anyway. 
It's just like this in boxes, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> it, it matters in the main game, I think, because there's upgrade items, but like, in this... Jeez, that is so cheap. The cheap ninjas. My bloodline technique is to be cheap as fuck. I'm losing track of who I am. All of these black clad ninjas are starting to like confuse me. Ah! Fuck. I missed that guy. I needed to pillage his corpse. Even this room is kind of grey. It's, it's not doing anything for me, you know. I want to get to the wild colourful area again. We'll see some cool shit in the next chapter, but at the moment it's just fight generic dudes. That guy died in a pretty cool way. <laughs> He's like land up against the wall like ah. Never seen that any uh, before. They normally land flat. We're gonna use this now. Put them greens. Okay, uh, this way I guess. Seriously, what is the layout of this house? Who is the architect here? Thanks. That's what I get for being on defense too much. Wow, just juggling me. Wombo combo, what the fuck? <laughs> Getting juggled by like the AI, that's embarrassing. I missed. Fuck! Look at this! Pressure! I've never seen anything like it. Are they dead? I kind of just went... Oh, he's dead. That camera really was not very helpful at that point, but it wasn't like... I'll just do some flips. It's when he flips, his hands don't actually match the rope. It's just, it's just leaf. It's just leaf, it's fine. So I left this rope for me to go across this cavern, and now we're gonna fight more dudes in grass. But now the grass is grayer. <laughs> was easy. Okay. There should be guys here. This is a big area. Why is there no guy? Where'd the guy? Where guy though? I'm gonna wait until I'm in a tiny place, right? Guy? There you go. Oh, more guys are joining. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> Imagine you show up to a fight like, Hey guys, what's up? And you immediately get Azuna dropped and you're like, Oh, <laughs> Yeah, I could win this! Oh, I thought the game froze. I always think the game freezes here, because it's like, Oh, these are too many for Ryu to... And I'm just poning, and I'm like, Oh... Ah, uh, yes. The strongest warriors. The elderly. I mean, to be fair, that's cool, but like... Why can't I play as you? I sense the stirring of the Archfiend. It's a calamity, the likes of which I've never seen. But I'll never reach the top with these old legs of mine. So I've been waiting for you. I'm glad you made it. I'd expect nothing less from a dragon ninja. Why are you punching my dick? Long ago, your ancestors <laughs> imprisoned the Archfiend deep within this mountain. Like this guy, I've been giving him money the whole time for stuff. It's like, you're supposed to be on my side, man. Why am I buying shit from you? You should just give it to me for free. Here, take this. Like now. You need your strength. You're giving me a packed lunch? Hmm. I had to buy grains and shit off of you if I was using the 
I wasn't using the market, but you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, so I'm trying to... Uh, I forgot to save back there, but like, I, I want to show off the weird thing he gives you. He gives you a unique item called Muramasa's on thing. Food. <laughs> Rice bowl thing. And uh, it, it's like a full heal, basically, but like, when the grains do a decent amount of health regen and you've got the talisman of rebirth and stuff, it feels like a waste to use this item. You know, it's one of those items in a game where it's a unique item and you're like, I'm never going to use this item and I will hoard it forever, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, it's really a mind goblin item. It's like when someone says, here's a master ball and you're like, I will never use this Master Ball, because I never feel like anything is worth the, the Master Ball. Especially nowadays when it's like, there are like several legendaries and you're like, oh fuck you man. <laughs> like, you know, you shouldn't have used your Master Ball on Groudon, you were supposed to save it for like, Rayquaza. It's like, oh fuck you man. <laughs> like, how was I supposed to know that shit? You used it on Rayquaza, you should have saved it for Mew. Or I could just save scum it. How about that bitch? <laughs> 99 Ultra Balls, I'm sure I'm gonna win at some point. <laughs> Welcome to my elite Pokemon strats. Literally. Get him down to just full swipe him down to one health and then just spam Ultra Balls forever. Will get in the ball. <laughs> he will, and if he doesn't, I'm just gonna load my old save. <laughs> oh, I'm such a bad Pokemon player, I love it. So these guys don't fucking stand a chance. Because <laughs> they can't handle the. Oh, he can. He can handle it. He can't handle it. I think they can handle the power of the Aztec Empire. Or Lion. I, I can't tell what they're going for with this. Sorry, I don't know sword designs in general. Yeah! Dead. Oh, it's you, I don't care. <laughs> I, I love the idea that I'm triggering people and they'll be in the comments going, Oh my fucking god, you don't read the law! It's like, yes, the team, the team ninja theory law. <coughs> no offense. <laughs> you mean the law, like, I'm surprised they're not just lewdly drawn pics of boobies at this point, let's face it, like, it's all they care about. <laughs> and on May the 15th, Diary of Koshimaru, May the 15th, I saw mass, some massive honkers today, some big gazubas, some big hononononkas, some gajubas, some gajibos, <laughs> some gazebos. <laughs> uh, if you got a problem with it, stop letting them be huge fucking perverts, <laughs> then I'll take them more seriously. Yeah! Threw a guy into a guy. Guy piles. Wait, that sounds like a medical illness. <laughs> Damn it. Why do they get explosive shurikens but I'm not allowed anymore? Stupid updates. Oh my god, what the hell? So much like fireball spamming. Oh no, a doken. Ah, oh, the combo wombo! Blombo. Ah, oh, I'm getting fucking. I was gonna say I'm getting it from all angles, I realize that sounds really weird. Jesus, the power geysers. I really need to focus on the range. Oh, that was cool. I was like, a focus on the range guy, flying kick him in the face immediately. I flying kick that guy's head off. That has always been my argument for people going, Oh yeah, Mortal Kombat's too violent, we should keep it from the children. It's like, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's not really many children around who can just rip another guy's head off due to pure fucking strength. And like, do Sub-Zero spinal removal fucking shit. Oh, a health bar. It's you again. Because if anything, this chapter needed another sub-boss. Jamist. Bet you feel like a punk bitch. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, he telegraphs her too well. And immediately fell for it like a punk. Stop with the hitting and the. Ah. I missed. Oh, Fliz. You're in the way. Get out of the way. Ah. Razor Wind. Slam! Why am I making so many Pokemon references in this LP? Ow! Sir! I am not using a healing item. You are not worth a healing item, just. Mm. Good. I had to prove to myself that I didn't need a healing item for that. Mushroom. Good. Good. Let the shroom flow. Just put a shroom on my face. What am I feeling? Yeah, why not? Wait, uh, do I have another encounter actually? Or is it just the, the boss boss? If, if it's just the boss boss, I, I might not use this. Oh, I think it's the boss boss. Ah, yes. Good old volcanic Mount Fuji. Everyone's favorite tourist site. Hello. So, you made it. Hello, bargain basement Akuma. It erupts. Do you understand what this means? The Archfiend quickens. Literally, my feet are in the boiling lava. The Archfiend never concerned me. All paths before me are cruel and arduous. Our time has come. Oh, I see. Your light shall spill. Your light you will literally. Die. You're literally like Akuma or Sagat, where your whole thing is, I don't care if I'm evil, I just want to fight the Protag. Get my revenge and prove I'm the best. Jeez, man, you really need to think about the amount of work you're putting in just for a fight you will have to lose due to cannon. Oh, look at this fight. Oh, fuck. Oh! <laughs> So he's basically the same fight again, but he has like slightly, I think, one more move uh, than normal. And he's a little more aggressive. He's a lot more aggressive. <laughs> but he's basically... And this map is uneven and like a not great color for me to see what's going on, because it's like that Street Fighter 4 stage that got banned. Ah, fuck. Oh, I, I cleared that. Is hacks. Oh, but you can dodge mine. I see how it is. I call hacks. Fuck! <laughs> I do just stand there like an idiot and just take a black void to the face, so. Like... Oh, fuck! Damn! He is Zuna dropped me! I lost that trade immediately, holy shit. It's because I don't have the right... There you go. I gotta beat him with the cannon thing. It's actually much easier with this, I find, personally. It's probably like some speedrunners out there going, Oh my god, you idiot, it's much easier with our tonfars. So, ah, I can't use the tonfars, I'm stupid. So. I wonder if anyone uses the tonfars. All tonfar run. <laughs> 
I like the Taunters, it's just they're not the ideal weapon for a lot of enemies. They don't have good reach. Damn. Damn! He ain't fucking around. Someone redid the tutorial. <laughs> Every time, man, I have to do this now. Should have gone in with the right weapon. Ah, uh, never mind. Damn. Oh, oh, oh. Spicy boy. Calm. Calm your farm. <laughs> Need to resolve your issues with me. I don't even know who you are. Sir. I will get a restraining order. Fuck. Yeah, this, this camera is my more mortal enemy than you, sir. But I feel like they think this is way more epic than it is. I'm sorry, this is no Dante v Virgil. This is no Ryu versus Akuma. This is Guy Fieri versus my ninja friend. I'm not gonna rip into Ryu. I like Ryu. As in this Ryu. Ryu Walls. Which Ryu do you prefer? Ryu Hayabusa or Street Fighter Gi Ryu? Gi Man. Karate Gi Man. He's going in. Seriously, dude. Like, what did I do to piss you off? Did I, like, steal your cake recipe? Did I, like, paint over your Warhammer figurines with, like, a bad paint job? Did I paint them all pink or something? They're supposed to be the Imperial Guard! <laughs> Who repainted them chaos? Now I'm mad! <laughs> Believe. To be fair, like, legit, I would be this pissed if I had to fight the guy who stole my fucking Pokemon cards. Dude stole my fucking shiny Dark Guy Arados and my Dark Charmeleon. What a cunt. And my shiny Zapdos. <laughs> so yeah, I understand. Did I steal your shiny Jet Zapdos, sir? Is that why you're angry? Because you are like three sets of greens angry, and you never go three greens. To be fair, I got a shiny Mewtwo after that, because I spent way too much money on Pokemon cards, because I have a problem. Ooh, I had a shiny Dark Weezing. Man, shiny Dark Weezing. That shit's hype. They should make a Dark Weezing. Like, as in, in the game, like, you, you, you remember that generation of Pokemon cards where it was like, the dark type wasn't a type? It was just certain ones were corrupted Pokemon that were owned and trained by the evil Team Rocket, so you just have Dark Weezy, Dark Guy Arados. I was like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I should be able to corrupt my Pokemon so that they're evil for like, you know, because we're already doing eugenics in the game to like get the ultimate team and like all of that shit and extreme training and super training regiments. I win! You should have pumped more grain, sir. No grain, no game. Yeah, I should be able to like corrupt my Pokemon for advantages in the competitive field. Bye bye. <laughs> Peace. LOL! Just lying there dead. Oh, he's dead dead. Elizabeth doesn't care. Elizabeth doesn't give a shit. What a bad girlfriend. I think she's... oh, I don't even know. I don't know about cannon. Yeah! 